to do today is just to show you how to make myself unavailable for a whole day. If, for example, I'm traveling and I don't want to be able to take any meetings or if I'm on vacation. So this is Calendly right here, calendly.com. You use my Gmail account to, to log in. If we take a look at my Google Calendar, for example, next week, I'm going to be taking a trip to Berkeley. I fly out on the 11th and then I have, uh, I'm, I'm with a, a big client Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm going to make myself unavailable, definitely the 11th, um, the 12th, 13th and 14th as well. Um, I'm also going to be um, on vacation 17th, 18th and I actually return the 19th. So I'll be available the 20th and the 21st. So I'm gonna just adjust this really quick in Google Calendar and change this from February field trip, Berkeley trip from the, from the 11th to the, right now it's on the 23rd. I'll come back the, the 19th, save. Cool. So, in Calendly, I have four calendars right now um, that are visible. I could tell that they're visible because they don't have this little eyeball that's crossed out. New business follow-up, personal vision review, non-business. So if I want to make myself unavailable for, for, uh, for one whole day, they need to be unavailable for all four calendars or all of the calendars that are active. You could tell really what calendars are also active if you go to stevelusoncom slash chat. These are the four calendars that anybody is available to use to book. So if we go back here to new business, click on when can people book this event. If you scroll down and then go to show more. Uh, this is the calendar that's you know up to date. Today is the, the fourth um, and tomorrow's the fifth. But we want to make myself unavailable on the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 18th and 19th. Um, so I'll go ahead and do 11. And it's simple. Just click this button, I'm, I'm unavailable, apply to February 11th only, and do the same for each of these days. And the 19th, apply to February 11th. See, now nobody can book me during the time that I'm just gonna be traveling or, not, or on vacation, and um, the most important thing to do is to save and close because sometimes I forget to do that. Then you hit back and do the same thing for, for follow-ups. So when can people book this event? I'll hit show, show more. I'm going to be traveling over here. Apply to February 11th only. Unavailable. I'm unavailable. I'm unavailable. Unavailable. I'm unavailable. There we go. Save and close. Back. Uh, for personal vision review. Again, same exact thing. Now right here, you'll notice I have just only a couple of days, Tuesdays and Thursdays available for this in general. Um, and that's intentional. So if the same rule applies, I'm not going to be available for these reviews during this time that I'm away. And then that's it. Save and close, back, and finally non-business. When can people book this event? Uh, right here on the 11th, I'm unavailable. The 13th, I'm unavailable. The 18th, I'm unavailable. Cool. Save and close, back, and now if we go to, let's say, new business, or let's refresh the page, it's always good to Command R to refresh the page. That'll refresh this widget. And you'll see people can't book me during this week that I am away. That's it. I hope that was pretty much clear. Um, let me know if you have any questions. As always, uh, you can always hit me up.